Okay, so I am trying to make iced coffee at home. Just had a hot coffee, but now I'm like, I want to have a coffee. But I, <gasps> I know I should try my iced coffee that I made. I haven't made it yet, but we're gonna make it now. So I boiled the kettle and I put the hot water in this jug and then I let it cool down and then I once it was cool I put it in the fridge blah 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 so basically it got rid of all like the um I guess chlorine bacteria and shit so it's nice pure yum water so that's been in the fridge overnight and I got a massive jug to put that in so I can top it up when I want really because I don't really want that you know when you drink tap water and you've got that tap water taste to it Norwich has shit water okay so bear with me here Step two, we have the coffee. So I'm going to use just a cup and a coffee and I'm gonna probably put about two spoonfuls in, teaspoons. So two teaspoons of coffee going in. Oh, just dropped half of it out on the floor. Coffee. There we go. It's really messy, I'm sorry. So now we've got the two teaspoons of coffee in there, we are going to be putting the hot water in so it dissolves it all. But we don't fill the cup up. You literally need to put it so it's up to like there at most. You can't see if those are in the way. So it's like literally up there at most. So that's not a part of the cup, that's part of the cup. Here, that's all you need. Teeny tiny amount, just so it dissolves all the granules. Because otherwise, your coffee will be too watery, it will be too hot, and it will just be too much drama. Get your spoon, mix it up. Normally people in coffee shops actually have their coffee machines, so it comes out with the perfect amount of shot. Oh no, I just splashed. So it comes out with the perfect shot of coffee. But we don't have a coffee machine because we're cheap bitches, okay? La, la, la. I've made so much mess. Can you see this? Look at that. As you can see, I don't have the equipment to like actually show you how to make proper coffee. Maybe if this video goes viral, we'll make a proper video. It won't. Ah! Okay, so now we have to use our glass that we got from Byron Burger, everyone. Byron Burger. Basically, I went into there, I know someone who works there, and the managers as well. They have too many glasses and you need to get rid of them. And I was like, I'll take some. I like a pint glass. Give it to me, baby. So, get yourself a pint glass or a fairly big-ass glass so you can put your shit in. We are going to need ice for this, so make sure you have ice. So, ice, ice, ice. You have to remember iced coffee is literally mainly ice and then it's the water top. It has to be chilled. If it's not chilled, it's going to taste like shit. I think that'll do. That's quite a lot of ice. Oh, I'm going to be buzzing. Okay, now we've got the ice in there. We are going to need to add, you guessed it, the coffee. Ooh. Yeah, baby. I've just noticed all those dirty plates on there. That looks really sexy for my video. Now the reality is you need a cocktail shaker to do this. I don't have a cocktail shaker. I have this very big cup that someone left when we went camping. I'm gonna use that instead. It doesn't fit, but hopefully it won't splash everywhere. Ah! That didn't work. Okay, well that didn't work, so I'm going to use this plastic spoon instead to mush up the eyes. Now just add water. I thought we had straws, I'm livid. And that, my friends, is how you make the perfect iced coffee. It looks like I've got beer. <laughs> Taste test. I've actually not tasted yet. Tastes like water. I think it could have done with a lot more coffee, personally. But, it's close enough and it doesn't taste like shit. So, boiling the kettle 
and then put it in the fridge overnight was a good idea. Don't actually leave your hot boiling water inside your fridge because your fridge might blow up because the heat and the cold combined will be like bang. <laughs> so make sure you let it cool down first and then put it in the fridge. Um, you can add things like a syrup or a honey to it if you wish, that is up to you guys, but I actually like my coffee bitter, like myself. And yeah, make sure you add probably, I'd say four, if you like your coffee strong, add four teaspoons of coffee because this isn't the same as coffee coffee we get out of the machines in Starbucks or Nero or wherever. This is, this is Kenko man, dissolvable coffee. But this is actually really nice, I'm quite proud of this, so. I'm sure it tastes stronger as I get to the bottom. Thanks for watching my disastrous coffee making skills. I hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, press the bell. Please love you all. Have a good night, have a good day, and I'll see you soon for another video.